So this is Odin the Mustang. I'm working with him at Liberty doing uh, mounting block training. So I just want him to sidle up to the mounting block so I can get on. Um, I haven't really practiced this very much, so um, I think I make a lot of mistakes in this video and, and um, Odin is probably aware that I'm not really sure of what I'm asking, so he doesn't always give the right answer, which is fair. I have speeded this video up uh, to double the speed, which is why it looks like things are happening pretty fast. Um, if you can hear me in the video say, good boy, I sound like a chipmunk, which um, I think is pretty funny. Basically what I'm doing here is giving him a click and a reward every time he moves his body in a direction that I want. And mostly what I'm doing is I have a old dressage whip in my hand and I'm just tapping his right hindquarter um, just because I, I want him to get the idea to move it over. So there he did a good job. Um, he moved it over for a second, but then he moved it back. Hopefully I got the click in when he moved it toward me. And sometimes he just completely moves away from the pressure. So this is all just part of the, the learning and I'm trying to direct him with my hand of where I want his nose. And he knows that's the feeding hand, so, or either hand is the feeding hand, so he generally puts his nose in that direction. So here I'm tapping, I'm just tapping, 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 tapping not increasing the pressure at all, not making it faster or harder or anything. I'm just tapping because what I want is to have, use a light tap to um, get him to move over. And once he figures it out, the tapping stops. This session with Odin uh, took about 30 minutes total, so I have divided it into three parts, including a pretty good rest period in, in part two. Mostly because I don't like to, to drill, because I don't think that is beneficial at all. And he's asking questions, a lot of questions, like, okay, well, if I move up here, can I move back here? And, and because he's at liberty, I'm allowing him to do that. I find that um, just allowing them some freedom of choice helps them learn a little bit better. And here I'm just trying to be more clear about what I want from him. So I even walked to the other side, said, okay, dude, if I tap this side, I want you to move your bum over. And again, it's not very hard. He doesn't like it. It feels like a fly swatting him. And he took one step over in the direction I wanted, so he got a click and a reward. So we'll try it back at the mounting block, see if he translates that um, tap into uh, moving towards the mounting block. And he, he actually just lined right up to the to the mounting block. And here I'm tapping him again. Tap, 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 tap. And you can see my hand jiggling, just tap, tap, tap. And, um, and there's a point where I realize I'm just not getting through to him. So I give him a little tap, move over, and he does. So I get back on the mounting block and try it again on that side. And he moved over a little bit, even though he did move back. Um, again, I'm making a lot of mistakes. and um, But here, I'm asking him to go forward without... Um, he's not getting a click and a reward for moving forward. But there he just lined right up. So I'm going to lean on him and just see how he feels about my body weight on him. And, and tell him he's a really good boy and take some of the pressure off. And then I'm gonna do it again, rub his side. Again, this is at double the speed. 
and then I get on and he's okay that's great that's fine so and I like to give him a, a goodie for allowing me to sit on his back and let him know and there I just asked him to move a bit forward and he stopped when I said whoa so I got off and this is a lot of times the way we end the session I just do like a, a complete walk around body rub down at the same time and this is where the session ended so continue to part two